Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare franchise store video. This one's gonna be for August 11th. You guys know the drill. Make sure you're dropping a like on it. Today's like goal is gonna be 100 likes. You guys always destroy the like button on Tuesdays when we get these new featured bundles. So let's shoot for 100. I know you guys will crush it. One more thing before we get into it. I made an update video about the channel here a couple months ago about an ongoing situation for where I'm gonna be living soon and that's pretty much coming to an end right now uh, within the next month here. So I'll have to keep you guys updated. Maybe in two weeks I'll give you a full update video and see what we're going to be doing here. But, you know, next month, September time, I'm not sure how consistent we can keep the content. It's something I, you know, talked about a little bit in that video. I'll probably link it up in the top right if I remember uh, just so you guys can get a little refresher if you've forgotten. But, um, you know, if channel if the channel ever gets kind of uh, slow and inconsistent with uploads, it won't stay like that for a while. And, you know, Modern Warfare is coming closer to year two. And then we're going to be getting some COD 2020 info. So as long as it doesn't, you know, happen around release of COD 2020, it's not really going to be a huge issue. And we should get back to normal soon if we ever fall out of routine. So, guys, featured section is the only new stuff here today. I mean, all this stuff is all stuff we looked at yesterday so if you see any bundles in here that are new and you missed the last one make sure you check it out so we're gonna start with poison dart i know i'm sorry oh actually this looks sick i might not be sorry wicked tongue okay snapped up this one's 1400 and it looks like i can't tell if this is an m4 yet but this is an mp5 muzzle brake tack laser viper reflex rubberized grip tape and sleight of hand it's not terrible but I wouldn't say it's the greatest. Cosmetically, I love it. I really like this one, actually. This one's really sick. Let me know what you guys think about this one, man. I like this one. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. Is this the M4 or is this the M13? Okay. Tempest Marksman. That barrel looks really clean. It looks just a touch different from, uh, like, they're just normal default barrel for Tempest Marksman. I can't tell exactly what it is, but it looks really clean. Magazine looks lovely. Okay, you got the MVG Enhanced on there. That's something different. You don't really see that much on the blueprints. You got the Forge Tax Stalker, fully loaded Tempest Marksman. Okay, you're putting some rounds down range with this bad boy. All right. I mean, I think it looks great. A lot more of that design and camouflage and pattern on this one than the MP5, but this is cool, man. This is a really good setup for... Uh, for a war zone just these two if you're a brand new player you see this bundle this would be a decent one to pick up for sure i like that one so moving on to the executive armor a lot of people knew this was going to be the one that we see today i kind of had a feeling as well the gold tracer Graw has been in war zone ever since season five dropped um i don't know when we're going to see this marin bundle i have no idea uh if they're waiting till cod 2020 release i bet they'll either do or not release but the teaser trailer whatever they're going to drop the official reveal they'll probably do it that week or the week before that so you know it would be if cod 2020 comes around the corner and then you know maybe hype for that will die warzone down a little bit and they want to maximize their sales and they're pretty good with marketing so not a lot in this bundle actually uh 2400 cod points for not a lot no finishing move Stack them up. so we have the iron work sticker that's pretty cool Guard your grill. Get a grill there. Golden hue. Or who? Oh, we have a fennec. Royal coffer. Oh, this looks this looks sick. ZLR Apex Barrel, the Merc Foregrip, the 40 round mag, it's rubberized and forged tag. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a solid setup for that looks great it looks really good actually i'd probably take the sticker off personally but uh you got gold tracers and golden dismemberment and that golden dismemberment when you actually shoot someone i believe it shoots the limb off the body and then turns that specific limb to gold if i remember correctly uh, i believe that is what happens with the golden dismemberment it's pretty cool i saw a clip on twitter and that's the only reason i know that but that is the Fennec. Now we have the Graw, Compensator, the Squall Barrel, the Attack Laser, Commando Foregrip, and Sleight of Hand. A nice little close quarters one. That's not bad at all. 
And uh, you got that gold tracer as well with the golden dismemberment. Cosmetically, I think it looks good. I think it actually looks really decent. The way the gold and the black are kind of combined actually looks really good. Some I've, you know, tried to critique them a little bit on with some of the other ones. It just, you know, one part of the gun is just all black. and There's only a couple gold uh, additions. This one looks pretty good, actually. Then we have the armor. Going to be wrapping up today for Mace. I got to say, I like that Zane one a lot better. The, Z the one Zane skin with the golden jacket is just so sick. So much better than this one. But um, that's going to do it, guys. Make sure you guys are dropping a like as always on the video, man. Subscribe if you're new around here. Notifications on. Show the sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out.